Congratulations on getting your new E2 3D printer. In this video, we will show you how to unpack your 3D printer and prepare for the first print. To unpack the printer safely, you'll need a pair of scissors or a knife and an open platform to place the printer. Okay, let's get started. First, place the printer cardboard box in an open area near the power outlet. Cut off the four packing straps with scissors or a knife. Then, cut the packaging tape on the top of the cardboard box. Open the box. The box contains a quick start guide, five different power cords, and a set of hex wrenches. Remove the cardboard and the packaging foam covering the printer. If possible, remove the packing material with the aid of another person. Take the printer out of the cardboard box and place it carefully on the open platform. Find the power cord that matches your country's standard and connect it to the printer. Plug the power cord into the power outlet. Turn on the red switch on the right back of the printer. The printer will enter the startup procedure, which takes about 60 seconds. When the printer is started, you can choose the display language of the printer on the screen. After setting the language, the printer will automatically enter the video guide. You can remove the x-axis and z-axis retaining buckle according to the instruction on the screen. Do not discard the retaining buckle so that it may be used in future transportation. Once all the buckles are removed, the video guide will ask you to lift the x-axis. Follow the video guide to lift it. Once the x-axis is fully lifted, you can open the front door and take out the accessory box inside the printer. Next, enter the system settings. Name your machine. You can set a personalized name for your printer. The default name of a new printer is raise 3 d Network configuration. You can configure the wired or wireless network connections for your printer. The network interface is on the right back of the printer. You can skip this step temporarily. Auto pause printing when the door is open. The printer will automatically pause the current printing task when you open the front door during printing. Power saving button. You can select the functions of the power saving button, including short press to turn off the LED lights, short press to turn off the screen, and press and hold for 10 seconds to restart the printer. You can learn about Raise Cloud on the Raise Cloud information page. Upon finishing the system settings, you will move forward to enter the five step offset calibration wizard. The filament used in this video is Raise 3D Premium PLA and the nozzle diameter is 0.4 mm. Step 1. Calibrate the left Z probe offset. You need to use a feeler gauge to calibrate the nozzle to platform spacing. Place the feeler gauge under the left nozzle and select the down arrow on the screen to adjust the nozzle height until the nozzle touches the feeler gauge. Then, align the rough point on the feeler gauge with the end of the left nozzle and move it back and forth until you feel friction. The screen will display the left nozzle offset value. When you confirm the suitable height of the left nozzle, the video guide will show you how to load the filament. Load the filament according to the instruction. Open the door on the left side of the printer and install the two racks on the mounting hole. Open the top cover to find a left extruder and hold the metal buckle at the feed port of the left extruder and pull the tube off. Insert the end of the filament into the filament runout sensor in the direction shown in the video and pass it through the tube completely. Then insert the filament into the feed port of the left extruder. The printer will heat up automatically. Insert the filament after the nozzle reaches the target temperature and select load again to load the filament. According to the prompt on the screen, insert the filament further into the left extruder. After the nozzle normally extrudes the filament, select OK and the printer will start heating to build plate. When the build plate reaches the target temperature, the printer will automatically start to print. Please wait for the print to complete. After printing, select the first fully twisted line number on the screen and select next to move to the next step. When the first or second line is a full twisted line, select All Lines Are Twisted. If there is no twisted line, select No Twisted Line on the screen and recalibrate the left nozzle Z offset. The left nozzle Z offset value is displayed on the screen. Remember this offset value. After the left nozzle offset calibration is completed, remove the filament from the build plate. Now we will move on to the second step, calibrate right Z probe offset. As when you calibrated the left nozzle, you will need to place the feeler gauge under the right nozzle and adjust the right nozzle height until you can feel friction while moving the feeler gauge. The right nozzle offset value that you manually calibrated will be displayed on the screen. When you confirm the suitable height of the right nozzle, you can load the filament to the right extruder. Open the door on the right side of the printer and install the two racks on the mounting hole. Put the filament spool on the rack. Insert the end of the filament into the filament runout sensor in the direction shown in the video. Pass it through the tube completely. Now insert the filament into the feed port of the right extruder. Select load to load the filament after the nozzle reaches the target temperature. Insert the filament further into the left extruder and continue to the next steps. When the build plate reaches the target temperature, the printer will also start printing. 
After the print is finished, select the first fully twisted line number on the screen. You will get the offset value of the right nozzle. Compare the offset values of both the left and right nozzles. If the left and right nozzle offset values exceed 0.1 millimeters, it is not recommended to enable duplication mirror mode for printing. You will need to recalibrate the left and right nozzle height. After you complete the right Z probe offset calibration, remove the filament from the printing plate and proceed to step 3, bed leveling. According to the instruction on the screen, the printer will automatically carry out the 9 point leveling. This step aims to ensure the flatness of the build plate. The build plate should be less than 0.15 mm. If the build plate is more than 0.15 mm, it is not recommended to enable duplication mirror mode for printing. Next, carry out step 4, calibrate offset right nozzle XY offset. Please follow the instructions on the screen. This step aims to ensure that the left and right nozzle are aligned. After the two nozzles and the build plate are heated, the two nozzles will automatically print line segments on the build plate. When the model is complete, find a pair of red and white lines that are fully aligned on the model marked X and select the number of lines on the screen. Then find a pair of red and white lines that are perfectly aligned on the model marked Y and select the number on the screen. Now the XY offset value has been calibrated. Finally, we will move to step five dual color cube calibration. This step aims to confirm that the XY offset value of the left and right nozzles are aligned. Remove the filament on the build plate. When the nozzles and the build plate are heated to the target temperature, the printer will automatically print a two color cube on the build plate. After the print is complete, compare the printed two color cube with the figure on the screen. If there is a gap in the two color cube you printed, it indicates that the calibration has failed and you need to rerun step four and step five. If there is no gap in the two color cube, then the calibration is successful and the offset calibration wizard is finished. Congratulations on completing the offset calibration wizard. Now you can start printing your first model. If you come across any other problems, please contact our technical support. Thanks for watching.